I think a lot of people thought November 8th was going to be a watershed for the women's movement and that things would change from there. And in fact, that is what happened. After what seemed like a relatively short period of mourning, uh, mostly people wanted to stand up and fight back. What we're seeing with the rise of uh, xenophobic uh, nationalism is extreme threats. We don't intend to go back. Uh, we aren't going to be treated as sexual objects. A lot of women felt really connected to something larger than themselves and were able to show up collectively uh, to build power. Literally more than a million new supporters have joined Planned Parenthood since the election and these are folks who are ready not only to fight for these issues but to fight for their future. It is becoming more intersectional by which I mean the white women in the movement are far more willing and understanding of how you need to look to the margins when you are addressing a policy issue. I think that we're at a moment where people understand that the only way for us to get free is if we all get free together. So you're seeing folks uh, uh, folks of color, standing with immigrants, standing with refugees and LGBTQ folks. One of the big criticisms of the women's movement is that far too many feminists look like me. Our leadership looks different. We're younger, we're browner, we're more diverse. Many of us are trans, many of us are queer, and that's really important. Since the election, I think the women's movement has changed in that we are continuing to see all the incredible women across the country that have been working on these issues for so long, working with women that are just starting to talk about uh, these issues. So the original women's movement that was led by folks like my mother, Ann Richards, the former governor of Texas, that was uh, really at the very beginning. And a lot of the rights that we all enjoy now as women were you know, hard fought uh, gains during that era. Now we're seeing, I think, a really a, a resurgence of a movement that is much more broad based. Now we're looking at women actually working together, which is not something that we've seen previously. And so it's important for us to recognize that the women's movement and the feminist movement has a different face and it's really being led by women of color. I think what has happened is women have suddenly um, become very aware of the kinds of power that is being brought to bear to push us back. Every day we are redefining what this movement is and what we need to do to actually fight this fight. The rules of the game have been changing constantly, especially since we've got a new administration and new members of Congress on the ground. The dream of full equality is moving. And I believe that uh, this administration uh, is going to see it continue to move. We hope it'll join us. But if not, we're moving forward.